Hello and welcome to a brand new Timberborn series. I got a little inspired to play a little more Timberborn, and I also, since they made some more changes to the game, the latest experimental, and the fact that they uh, <clears throat> that some mods are also out, so I've added some extra content. I've got some like decoration, decorative stairs, side platforms. Some interesting stuff there, but it'll take a bit to get into those. Um, oh yeah, they've added like the dirt excavator, dirt pile, terraforming station. And we've also got these decorative pieces that are mods, so... We are going to dive into this game. This is also an interesting map. It's called Derelict Extractors or something, so the water sources are in these towers. So it's quite interesting. You've got a whole bunch of destructible bits around to clean up, and uh, yeah, should be interesting. Be able to build some dams pretty quickly and over some areas and stuff. Yeah, and lots of metal around. We've got our uh, places over here. In power, we have a... Um, Hot dry rock geothermal turbine. Water injected into hot rock. Oh, it takes water. Interesting. But produces 8,000 energy. Yeah. Yeah, large amounts of water. You can build a cooling tower on top. Okay. Some water is recovered. Huh. Okay, interesting. But those are a long ways off. We're, we're playing the Iron Teeth on this, as you can see, our blue beavers. We're going to just dive right on in and get get building. So I have some other paths here. Metal path increase walking speed. Interesting. Yes, okay, this is definitely... What's the gravel path look like? Okay. I like the brick, the stone path. Gravel path one, okay. Uh, we're gonna go for uh, this gravel, or this uh, stone path. We got different staircases too. Yeah. We're gonna go stone path. Okay. Uh, let's see, I wanna go around here. access to here over to this area because we'll probably want to plant some stuff in this area although yeah we're gonna want to quickly okay we can get up to these places that's good which means we can build some quick dams in some spots because this has water flowing down here and we can trap it in here and grow stuff over here wonderful we'll probably just demolish that actually. Set that to be demolished. Okay, and we will get to building some lumberjacks. Move one here to clear out these trees. Clear those, clear these. So you don't want trees growing in this initial section here. We'll probably have trees growing further over here. Eventually, maybe there, but we'll. Uh, Chop these things. Right, we're gonna need berry gathering here. Food gatherer's flag. Do some berry gathering. Let's see, there's not too many there. Let's demolish a couple over here. So we can do some gathering over there as well. I don't think the water's gonna get into these spots, so. Should be okay. Oh, I'm gonna need to set up water pumping. I don't want to pump this water here, probably. Set our path here. There, and connect up there. Yeah, I'm liking these new paths here. Okay, let's get going here. Hey, they have changed the migrate, manual migrate, automatic migration, 
So there's some neat features they've changed. Okay, uh they're getting building those. Let's get one built over here as well. Path to it. Okay, that's built. Getting a beaver moving in there. They're demolishing these guys. So we can get our path run through here. Get a path run through here. Also going to uh, cap off those berry bushes so they grow in that space and no farther. Something like that. That'll do. You can have some bushes grow around the camp. On the city center there. Okay. That's good. Bring this over here. We'll have more berries over here, but might just convert it to tree growing there. Okay. So we've got our water sources. Interesting. So how deep is that? Oh, that's way down. Okay. That's interesting. It does enable it so we could build up like a big reservoir here. That could easily fill it up. Yeah. But we'll have to get rid of a bunch of metal probably first. So. That's okay. Oh, we got this guy. He's chopping. That's good. I'm going to want to have... A small water tank storage here. That'll tuck right in like that. That's good. Okay, and then food. So get food going right away. And this will probably be the easiest to cap off here. So I'm going to put the food production over here. We'll plant some carrot crops. Like that. Some potatoes over there. That'll be plenty for that guy to handle. Okay, we can still access here in order to build a couple of the dams. Boom, boom two dams right there. Over here, three dams. I want to get to those pretty quick. Um, hmm. Yeah, this will have to be... I like that this is in a separate menu here, so the path that you have chosen to be your default path is always the same when you select it. That's nice. Okay, let's uh, increase working hours and speed them up a little bit. We're also going to want to get uh, storage. Small warehouse for some berries. This can like polish these things, please. Building things. Probably want to have a path here. Just connect that up, utilize the stairs where they have them. How far you can reach out to there? That's okay. Get some berries. Oh, and I want to get uh, into housing. I'm going to get some breeding pods. Actually, perfect spot for a couple breeding pods. Okay, get back to work. Oh, we don't have a log pumper. There it goes. The verge. Start pumping logs. Some water generation so they can drink. <clears throat> a waterfall. For here. Make sure to drink some water. As our beavers drink, so should we. Okay. If they're chopping those chestnut trees. 
Yeah, we'll leave some bees around here, that's okay. Hey, okay, farmhouse is built. Let's get it populated with somebody. Plant some carrots. That food going. Let's just quick priority on those things so we can build our warehouse up there. So I'm going to do that just so we don't get any extra bush growing there. I want things bushing out. There's not a lot of flow. Having multiple sources like this, we don't have a lot of flow potential for like, uh, I guess there, but for water wheels and that. Unless we utilize multiple sources here and zigzag it back and forth over here or something. That might be useful. Hey, there we go. Okay. Uh, let's get this storage going here. They're going to be just for berries. 200... Make sure we have storage for those, so they're always picking and we got enough. Building that dam, so that we'll have some water to grow our crops. And to drink. Good. Oh, yeah. Now we do have water flowing out two sides into this spot, so. Should get a decent supply there. Still picking. Hey, we got that dam built. Now this one's got to be built. It's our uh, reach. Okay, we're still doing good on reach. We got our fields planted. Okay, uh, I'm gonna want to get some science going here. Let's do that. Get that path once he cuts that. Get that science going get our industrial zone going probably somewhere up here on the hill so we've got our metal extraction points up here but we'll probably be using this these metal areas out here for a while uh, utilize them for some time so in that case I'm gonna do this just power wheel it Oh, hold on. Oh, uh, I want to make a industrial log pile up here. Let's prioritize that. High priority. So that guy can keep dumping logs in there and we don't have to wait for builders. Get two more builders here. Do I need to get up here? I don't know that I need to get up here. Oh. Yeah, because when we actually want to utilize the metal, we'll definitely have stairs. i set some demolishing here. Clear this land a little bit. Okay, good. Can go drink water. There's water to drink. Yeah, those will probably take a while to happen. It's okay though. There we go. Now we can. Now he has a warehouse to dump logs. He's cutting. These guys are grabbing, so. That's all well and good. 
Got that. Let's see, what are our berry reserves at? 84. Got some chestnuts. Nice. Not going to be nearly enough for anything, but certainly we could use it as an early food source. That'll require building things, and we're just going to get this dam set up before we move on to that stuff. I have customized the drought settings a little bit, so it's like, what, 10 to 15 days of um, uh, good weather, and then 10 to 15 days of drought, with, of course, the handicap for the first six ones just to get started. It's like 30% handicap, so so they'll reduce that amount 30% of what it would be, which is about maximum five days drought. So somewhere between like two and five days should be the first drought. But it'll get up to 15 days. So not um, hard levels, but certainly not really easy either. Though it will have like 10 to 15 days of water supply, so that part's not too bad. Just a little harder than normal, because I think normal has like up to like 17 days of good weather and only like nine day droughts, so. Yep, they're all sleeping on the ground. It's okay, we're getting our dam built here. He's sleeping on the dam. Must be a damn good sleep. Okay. Yeah, this is filling up quite a bit over here, actually. Yeah, I just have to stop that little bit and this little bit. And this whole area will stay filled with water. Which would be nice. Nice supply to tap into. Reading halted. Yep, yeah, that's good. That's built now. Hey, okay, things are built. So we got no spare beavers right now, but they're working on that storage. Go, starting to breed up some beavers. Got another spare beaver. Hey, good, they're clearing those. Potentially put some storage over here for some of these foods. Let's start with this one. Let's start with some carrots, 200. Potatoes often they don't have to store right away. It's because they tend to get consumed quickly by the, the cooker house thing. The grill. I can just put it like right there. That'll do. All right, D five. Potentially only five more days till drought, but it could be a little bit longer. Okay, you are mostly done here. Let's pause you. Get another lumberjack up here. Do some more work on those things. That'll do right there. Okay, yeah, they're eating berries still. He's got some berries that he's able to get, but let's move our gatherer flag to be over here instead. Access to a lot more water. We should be drinking. It's probably just the long running they're doing. It's okay. Some water. Get pumping again. Good. All filled up here. Some water reserves. And this place, as long as you get that, seems to be a good 
uh, supply of a good damned area of water. Could be. Okay. Pumping away. Got room for another pump over here when we need it. Hey, good. Okay, we got science going. You got chestnuts in you. Not gonna worry about those. Leave you for now. We've got another guy working over there. Let's pause that for now. Need that. Yep. This guy's collecting. I mean, I guess we could grill some chestnuts, but... I mean, over here you get lots, but... We need to cut those. Can't get up there. Okay, sorry I had to cough there. Um, this should be doing okay. Let's see, they're still struggling a bit with logs, probably going to struggle for a little while. Um, oh, yeah, okay, we're getting carrots. Oops. That's good. We can save those berries for growing new beavers. Speed this up here. That's good. There we go. Let's get some planks going. So by that time our science is built up, we can get making some trees. Get growing them. Hey, there we go. At least to put our carrots. Alright, well, when they get the chance here. There we go. Polish resources. Clear some extra land here. This stuff can go as well. They're pretty ugly, those piles of stuff. Don't know. This nice, clean, industrial look. Yeah, I mean, I could grow, start planting trees over there. If I were to dam up this spot here. Yeah, these areas might lose their green, but... Shouldn't be too bad. This area will stay with wet longer because it's only it's got to come out of here. So should last a little while there, anyways. Okay, whoop. no recipe selected. Do some quick chestnuts there while we got them. It's not very many, but something. Yeah, this area should remain growing trees for a bit. Okay. Got other spots over here, but... Yeah, I don't know if I'd want to flood this area. I mean, I could just bring a little bit of water in or something. That'd be cool. You could keep a lot of this land all watered and farm a bunch of trees up here. That'd be cool. Should work pretty well. 
guess you could do it up here too. Uh, using this water might be good. Easier thing. Okay, we're getting science going. Let's get a little extra water tank over somewhere here. That'll do. Get some housing as well. Have these guys a place to sleep. That'll do. That's only 10 housing, actually. That's 40 logs, so maybe we'll hold off. I get planting more. Hey, there we go. Oh yeah, there's nobody in there. Switch you to potatoes. We don't really need to... Well, hmm. Just need a new person working in there. Harvesting stuff so that we actually have the food. Oh, uh, these guys can pause now. Um, yep, yeah, got someone working there now. Grilling potatoes. Carrots over here. Yeah, harvest those potatoes. Oh, we already got more carrots going. That's good. These interesting structures. Wonder what they used to be. Okay, there we go. We got some housing. One spare beaver. Good. Mm. Yeah, food is still struggling a bit, but should do okay here. Hey, there we go. We got enough science. That forester. Okay, I wanna build this guy like somewhere right here. I think. Covers a good area of that and some extra area. Okay, there we go. It's my reach on that. Okay, yep, yeah, that reaches. There we go. So 15 days. No at season here. Good. Start planting maples. That. Just all the maples over here. As many as you can plant. Demolish those bushes there. Okay. Get enough science for stairs, and we can get up to that upper platform and have some extra logs to... Ah. Actually, um... Four of those over there. I'm not going to need them all right now, but that'll be a decent-sized free patch, so... Be handy to have. Okay, how are we doing on water? Good, both of those are full. Neither of them have produced a kid yet. It's okay though. Pause, pause. See these guys, they've already cut all of this. Let's pause them. Interesting, we got some like cracks in the ground where there were like running pipes or irrigation channels or something. 
Okay, I wonder if these were uh, oil derricks or the just water they were extracting. Perhaps. Oh, look at that. They had like a maple orchard over here. Straight line trees means they were, they were planted that way, not just randomly growing there. Huh. Oh, they can't reach that. Yeah. Nope. Can't reach that. See, oh, those are just birch trees. Demolish those, please. What are we doing? We running out of food? Nope. Okay, people are all getting their stuff. Hey, we got our drought. Let's see how we do. Four days, okay. Not too bad. Not the longest that it could be at the beginning here, but not too bad. Yeah, that's full. I mean, that'll keep this area green for a bit. But this will stay decently green as well. Those two, those will keep it green, yeah. Okay, they got that cleared out. There's one more they missed. Oh, um, get planting trees here. Okay, nope. It's not going to be planting trees now. Okay. Pause on that. These drought days. Yeah, not having the water for the trees is not necessarily. A bad thing, at least in the beginning here, because the droughts are not too long, the trees are not going to die. But eventually we will need to have some water for the trees. Keep them going. I can't go much farther over here, so might require... Oh, uh, hold on. Water, no, if water doesn't flow out the back of this, it flows out these sides here. Mm. Okay, but this is still doing well. What else do we want to build here before we wrap up this episode? I don't know, I think things are doing okay. Maybe wrap it up here and come back after we're done this drought. Um, so I hope you enjoyed watching this episode. We'll probably be playing this for a little while. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you in the next one.